Greetings from Tokyo. I'm Jeff, Telcoin's VP of Business Development, and this is the first installment of Telcoin 101. In part one, we're going to show you how to set up MetaMask, bridge assets to Polygon, and perform a swap on QuickSwap. In part two, we're going to show you how to provide liquidity on QuickSwap and stake your LP token on Telex in order to earn double Tel and Quick incentives. Before we dive in, please note that this video is not financial advice. Decentralized finance, or DeFi, comes with risks, especially to those who are new to blockchain and digital assets. Interacting with DeFi and performing actions such as liquidity mining are not for everyone. And while we will try to simplify the process as much as possible in this video, Telcoin bears no responsibility for any losses incurred. Please be sure to educate yourself as much as possible and don't feel compelled to do anything with your assets unless you're comfortable, confident, and aware of the risks. Nascent technology like blockchain and DeFi is inherently complex. Since launching Telex, we've received a lot of requests for a simple step-by-step -step guide for how to access and use the platform. As someone who never interacted with digital assets until joining Telcoin as an advisor back in 2017, I hope my explanations, coming from someone who had to learn by doing, mistakes and all, with nothing but Medium or Reddit posts and YouTube videos, makes not only Telex more accessible, but helps you feel more confident with everything that comes before it. So, without further ado, let's learn how to set up MetaMask, the first step in the journey to becoming a Telex liquidity miner. To kick things off, we're gonna set up a fresh MetaMask wallet. I'm using a MacBook Pro, and I recommend using Google's Chrome browser for this step. Navigate to metamask.io. Make sure the URL includes HTTPS, and always ensure correct spelling whenever accessing MetaMask, Polygon, Telex, or any other site where you interact with digital assets. We'll also add all the relevant URLs from this video to the description below. Click on Install MetaMask for Chrome, and then click Add to Chrome on the Chrome Web Store page that pops up. Then click on Add Extension. On the new MetaMask window that pops up, click on Get Started, Create a Wallet, agree to the terms, and type in a strong password. Make sure this password is not recycled for added security. And remember, if you forget it, you will have to recover your wallet with the recovery phrase. Feel free to watch the video about securing your wallet and click Next. Make sure you have a pen and paper handy to write down your recovery phrase. You can take a screen grab or save it on your machine, but I suggest a handwritten note for added security. Just make sure you put it somewhere safe, because if you forget your password, you won't be able to access any tokens on MetaMask without the recovery phrase. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna skip the recovery phrase part, as it's something you can come back to. But I suggest you take the words down when prompted, as the next step requires you to input them in order to confirm that you've saved the recovery phrase correctly. Now that you've successfully set up MetaMask, it's time to put some assets in that wallet. For this step, I'll be sending ETH from a Ledger Nano hardware wallet via Ledger Live. Note that Ledger offers direct integration with MetaMask, but I'm doing this step manually under the assumption that many of you are using other kinds of wallets. You can send ERC-20 tokens from a variety of platforms, including the Telcoin application or an exchange. I'm going to click on Account 1 to copy my MetaMask wallet address to the clipboard. I'm going to paste that into the Notes app so I can see the whole thing, and then copy it again. Next, I'm going to go over to Ledger Live and click on Send. I'm choosing my Ethereum test account and then pasting my MetaMask wallet address in the recipient address field and clicking continue. I'm gonna send 1.75 ETH to my MetaMask wallet. So I'll input the amount. I'll stick with medium for the transfer speed and click continue. Then I verify everything on my ledger device, double check that the address is correct and approve the transaction. Now it's being broadcast and should land in my MetaMask wallet in just a few minutes. Okay, now I can see that 1.75 ETH has successfully arrived in my MetaMask wallet. 
For the next step, we're going to send some of that ETH over the Polygon bridge and into the Polygon network, which is a layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum. What that basically means is that Polygon exists in parallel with the Ethereum mainnet, but since it has its own bespoke infrastructure, transactions are significantly cheaper and often much faster as well. But to get your assets from the mainnet into Polygon, we have to send them over something referred to as a POS bridge. This allows your tokens to migrate to the cheaper and faster Polygon infrastructure, where transactions are a fraction of a penny instead of dollars and cents. Let's head to wallet.matic.network, where we're going to connect MetaMask to Polygon and select how much ETH to send over the bridge. An important note before we move on. A small amount of ETH is required to power transactions on Ethereum, also known as gas. Make sure you keep some ETH in MetaMask to cover the gas fees for both crossing the bridge into Polygon and also sending tokens out of MetaMask once you cross back over to the Ethereum mainnet down the road. Now we're going to log in with MetaMask. If you see an error that MetaMask is not installed, simply refresh the browser. Click Next and Connect. To send ETH over the bridge, click on Moved Funds from Ethereum to Polygon. I'm going to send a little less than my full balance, so in this case I'll make that 1.7 ETH. Now click Transfer and Continue. Then continue again to confirm the fee. Note that the fees can be a little high if there's congestion on the Ethereum network. Click Continue once more and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Now you can see that the transaction is in progress. Again, how long it takes is dependent upon the amount of traffic on Ethereum. Once the transaction is confirmed, you'll see a hand giving a peace sign and a seven to eight minute estimate for how long it's gonna to take to cross the bridge. Sometimes it takes a few minutes longer than that, so don't panic if you're still waiting after eight minutes. Once you get the transfer completed successfully notification, click back to wallet and you'll see that we now have an ETH balance. You should also see a small amount of MATIC, which takes the place of ETH as the protocol token, which is also used to power transactions on Polygon. The good news here is that transaction fees are so low that a little MATIC goes a long way. If for some reason you don't see any MATIC in your newly created Polygon wallet, you can head over to matic.supply to get enough free MATIC to power a few transactions. You're also going to want to have the Polygon network show up in MetaMask. And you can do this simply by heading over to quickswap.exchange and clicking on Switch to Matic in the top right corner, and then clicking on Switch Network in MetaMask. Now, when you click on the puzzle piece to show MetaMask, you can switch between Ethereum mainnet and Matic network with the drop-down menu up top. This is a good place to say that Polygon and Matic are often used interchangeably, as Polygon was formerly called Matic. Now that you're on QuickSwap, let's swap some of that ETH for Tel. Select ETH, then type in Tel in the second drop-down menu. I'll swap about half of my ETH, so I'm going to type in 0.8 and click Swap, and Confirm Swap. Approve the transaction to MetaMask and give it a minute or two to go through. You can click on the blue box at top right to view pending transactions. Excellent, now you've got some tell and you're well on your way to becoming a Polygon and QuickSwap expert. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll show you how to add liquidity on QuickSwap and then become a liquidity miner on Telex. Now that you've successfully set up MetaMask, bridged assets to Polygon, and executed a swap on QuickSwap, you're almost ready to jump in the pool and start liquidity mining. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, 
Be sure to comment below or head over to our official Telegram community channel to share your input and ideas. You can also hashtag Telcoin 101 with any questions or feedback about this video on Twitter. Check the video description for relevant links and a full disclaimer. And be sure to like and subscribe for more Telcoin content. Thanks for watching.